You ever open a session buzzing with ideas only to get stuck chasing files, fixing errors, or Googling shortcuts? After 10 years of producing music professionally, I found a few apps that saved me thousands of hours a year, including one that boosted my workflow by 40%. So in this video, I'm sharing these tools that have made producing music faster, smoother, and a hell of a lot more fun. And to make this even easier, I put together the Studio Supercharger Cheat Sheet, a curated vault of the best studio apps to speed up everything from your workflow to your creative process. So I used to spend half of my time playing digital hide and seek, looking for apps, folders, licenses, lost files, everything out of reach. I didn't think one tool could fix this problem, but since finding Alfred, it has completely redefined how I work. One thing I've always hated is the stupid dock on my Mac. It's distracting as fuck. With Alfred, I replaced it. And now I use command space, type any app I'm looking for, and boom, there it is, like magic. Alfred gives you the control to do just about anything, launch apps, folders, projects, search inside cloud drives, hard drives, plugin folders, deeper than Spylight ever could. You can even save snippets, which are reusable texts, which is really handy for plugin serials. But just when I thought I had everything running smooth, there was one invisible gremlin still wrecking my flow. A silent killer that can freeze your rig mid-session, outdated software. Latest shows you everything that needs updating without installing anything, checks what's out of date, and lets you plan your updates when you're ready but please don't do it mid-session or before any deadline. But with even having all my software updated, my Mac still acted like it was running through molasses. It was constantly lagging and driving me insane. I was about ready to take my Mac and throw it out the window into oncoming traffic during rush hour, so it'd suffer. Inventing about this problem, one of my buddies told me about an app that he uses every single day before he starts a session and his Mac has always run like it's brand new. So I immediately went and got clean my Mac and suddenly my system felt like it had gone to therapy and started drinking green juice. It's now part of my session ritual to start up every single day with running clean my Mac. Now this next app is gonna become your studio lifeline because nothing kills momentum like a dead drive mid-session. And I've seen the look of death hit a classroom of students back when I was recording school. Someone thought it would be a good idea to install some sketchy, someone thought it would be a great idea to install a sketchy cracked plugin. And poof, just like the snap in Avengers Ed game, half the class watched as their projects just vanished into oblivion. I still remember the horror in their eyes. It was kind of like watching a toddler drop their ice cream and you can see in slow motion as like the dread comes into their face. That look has burned into my memory, but here's what they didn't know. Every machine was backed up using a program called Carbon Copy Cloner. So as an intern, me and the other interns just went and restored all the computers and they were ready to go within a couple of hours. Carbon Copy Cloner clones any existing drives or allows you to create a full bootable clone of the main hard drive. So if anything crashes mid project, you can literally reboot from your backup and keep working. I've been using it for I think 15 years now and every time I go to a studio, I recommend that they get it. It's set and forget and is so much better than Apple's backup time machine. Now all these apps, they create the foundation for a creative system that runs very smoothly and they help you stay in the flow longer. That way you can actually finish more music. Essentially, you're using them to help you create momentum and momentum is everything when creating music that actually gets finished. But even the fastest systems get gummed up if you don't clean them out. Have you ever deleted an app, for instance, only to find that there's still some weird files haunting your system? App Cleaner nukes every hidden support file when you delete an app. Just drag your crusty old app into App Cleaner and it sniffs out every dusty, clingy support file like a bloodhound on Adderall. In one click and it's like the app never existed in the first place. Now for years I've been anti-Windows for various reasons, but there are two features on Windows that boggle my mind that Mac does not have them. Luckily, there's two apps that I use daily to help fix this. Alt-Tab brings one of the things Windows actually does really great. Usually when you hit Command-Tab on a Mac, you're going to each app, but you can't go to a specific window. That's where Alt-Tab comes in, window switching. And then there's also either dragging files to other folders or copying and then pasting a duplicate and then going back and deleting that file. You don't have to do this on Windows, you do on Mac. But luckily, Command X allows you to do cut and paste. Use Command X to cut, Command V to move, you're done. Why Apple can't do this themselves, I don't know. But now you have an app for it. All right, so you know that moment when you're using the DAW and you know it has a shortcut, but you just can't remember what it is. So you freeze, you go to Google, you try to find where that shortcut is. Maybe you even click through eight menus and what happens? You lose momentum, you get confused and you get annoyed. Paletro gives every amp a built-in search bar for commands. You press one shortcut and start typing whatever you want to do and boom, it'll find the shortcut for you. No more clicking, no more, where is that menu item again? 
It's like giving your brain muscle memory. But what if you can take all those shortcuts and string them together to create the ultimate workflow? Automate anything and fire it all off in one keystroke. If you've ever wished your studio felt smarter, this next app doesn't just speed things up, it changes how you think about making music. Because nothing kills inspiration faster than repetitive busy work. Open this folder, load that chain, bounce that stem. You're not creating, you're babysitting clicks. I used to think this was part of the job until I saw someone trigger a whole workflow with one key command. The look on my face was dumbfounded and they said, oh yeah, that's Keyboard Maestro. Keyboard Maestro lets you build your own macros. You can turn repeated steps into single actions and you can automate just about anything. Keyboard Maestro gives you a visual editor to build all these automations, support for hotkeys and app triggers also, and you can pair it with something like a Steam Deck or a MIDI controller. And this next one paired with something like Keyboard Maestro is going to change your life. Now this app was originally made for video editors, but Post Haste works beautifully for music workflows. You can create templates for different projects and boom, you have an EP folder ready, a LP folder ready, whatever type of folder structure you need, it's ready. You don't realize how much mental space doing all this stuff steals until you finally reclaim it by using these apps. And once you take these parts of your setup away, ideas are so much easier to capture. But there's still one moment that can derail momentum fast. Nothing kills inspiration faster than when you open up a file and you start thinking to yourself, what key and tempo is this song in? So what if you could skip all that guessing and instantly know what key and tempo any audio file is in? Well, you can. Mixing Key Live listens in real time and instantly tells you the tempo and the key of the audio. You can drop in a file or hit play on Spotify or YouTube and boom, the info is on screen. Now, of course, not every project starts and ends on your hard drive. Some of the best ones happen across different time zones, DAWs, and sketchy Wi-Fi. But over the years, collaborating with friends has become easier with different tools out there, but there's still one that I think most producers can benefit from. When I first heard about Satellite, I thought there was no way that this actually could work across different DAWs. But then I tried it, and suddenly my friends who were using Logic, FL Studio, Ableton, and Pro Tools were all working on the same session at the same time. And there was no need to bounce stems, no worried about which version anyone was working on. It was real-time collaboration with anyone in any DAW. Satellite is what happens when AirDrop and Zoom have a baby and raise it to be a genius music collaborator. If you want a list of all these apps, plus more of my go-to tools, grab the Studio Supercharger Cheat Sheet. It's packed with everything I use to speed up sessions, stay focused, and keep creative momentum flowing. But once the final takes in, you hit the part that can completely kill your momentum. If you want to stay creative and finally feel confident hitting print, you need to watch this next video, where I reveal plugins that don't just save you time, they make finishing your mix feel effortless and actually fun.